It's the Thanksgiving episode, the gratitude, where we stop for a second and just say, I'm so grateful. Even if I'm grateful for just little bitty things, because everything has been a dumpster fire this past year, or I'm really struggling because I had a picture of what Thanksgiving was going to look like. Um, Thanksgiving's in a day, right, Kelly? It's, yeah, yes, we're recording this episode tomorrow. early, but Thanksgiving's tomorrow. I sure thought I wasn't going to be at my in-laws yet again, or I sure thought that my whole family is going to be here, or I sure thought that my son was coming home from college or that my daughter was going to be out from deployment. Whatever it is, it's a season when we stop and we just say, despite what's happening or um, in addition to what's happening, I'm grateful. I'm going to own it for a second. You've heard me talk about this, especially in the past. I haven't talked about it as much recently and I need to, I need to be more um, vocal about it. Gratitude, a practice of gratitude, minute by minute, hour by hour, a daily gratitude practice, an orientation towards life, towards saying, okay, I didn't want this to happen. I didn't expect this to happen. I'm going to, whether right now or in two years, I'm going to find <sighs> gratitude. I'm going to say thank you. Um, whether it's to the firefighters who showed up when my house burned to the ground, whether it was to the people who stood by me when my loved one passed away, whether it was um, my wife isn't doing so well, but I'm so grateful that your wife's cancer is healed, right? What, I'm going to have an orientation towards finding beauty, finding gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most important psychological tenets for a well life. What does that mean? That's gobbledygook for if you are not grateful, if you don't have a regular gratitude practice where you stop and feel grateful, you are choosing to die early. You're choosing a miserable existence. And I would suggest why? Why waste your life? Why? So there's, I, I, I wrote down four ways. I've heard it in the, in the scientific literature and um, in kind of the popular Instagrammy literature which is not really literature. I take that back. In the popular Instagrammy influencery nonsense, um, here's four ways you can um, express gratitude, have a gratitude practice. One is just, you hear this all the time, write three to five things every day that you're grateful for. Keep a journal, right? Just have a journal that you write them in, things that you're grateful for. I am grateful for, I'm grateful for, I am grateful for. Just do that every day. You can do it in the morning, you can do it before you go to bed. Um, you can also watch somebody do great things for somebody else. So you can um, watch a video of somebody doing something kind for somebody else. You can listen to a story where somebody explains, and then this guy came and helped me out. She showed up. This person pulled over on the side of the road and helped me out when I had a flat tire. You can be in that story. A third way is you can write a letter to somebody um, I think this is, I, for, uh, I forgot the, uh, I need to find it. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, he's a psychologist at Harvard, a psychology professor who recommends to his students um, one of the only ways you can achieve happiness instantaneously, you can turn the dial, is to write a letter of gratitude to somebody and then visit with them either by phone or in person and um, write and, and read it to them let them know. Hey, I wrote you this letter. Um, in all honesty, I've only been able to do that once. And that was to my son. Um, it's very hard to do to write a letter of gratitude to your mom or to your dad. Um, I was with some guys this weekend on a, on a hunting trip. And one of the guys is going to do this for his father. Um, all the, his father's got is, is, is working through some significant medical issues. And so they all wrote letters that they're going to read. And he had to stop the conversation because it was, he got choked up just thinking about what he's going to do. Right. So it's very hard to do that, but there's some significant psychological healing that happens with that. And then there's another one that that's, um, that I got from Andrew Huberman, which I think is phenomenal. And I've had some great success with it. And it's, it's almost a meditative gratitude where I'll turn the lights off in my basement and I'll sit down in my normal gratitude position, if you will, sitting down with my legs out or legs folded and my back up and I close my eyes and I remember a moment that I am truly grateful for. When my dad hugged me after a thing, 
when my mom put her hands on my face and said she was proud of me, when my wife filled in the blank, when my son, daughter filled in the blank, when I got a job and I didn't think I was going to get it, I put myself back in that moment. And it takes, it can take 60 seconds. It can take three or four minutes, but I'm going to the best I can re-experience that moment of gratitude. That moment when I'm so grateful. Thank you for showing up in my life. Thank you for being there when I needed you. Thank you for sitting with me when I was grieving. Thank you for holding my hand through this ugly mess. Thank you for saying yes when I asked you to marry me. All these, right, these moments of gratitude. Um, Whatever it looks like for you, I challenge you from this day forward. Let's do this from this day until the new year. Every day, have a gratitude practice, whatever it looks like. Put a um, put something on your phone, set an alarm, and just say gratitude practice and remind yourself, oh, I got to take three minutes and write this thing down because Delaney said to, re- to remember to be grateful. Just do it. And my promise is you will begin to shift how you see the world. It changes the glasses by which you filter and see the world, and it's extraordinary. So very cool thing. Um, we reached out on social media, on the internets. And I asked the people who follow my Instagram account, um, what are some things you're grateful for? Would you be willing to share? And we got a bajillion responses. I was hoping for seven. We got a million. We got a bunch of people saying, I'm grateful for this. My dad showed up. My husband's awesome. My wife is amazing. My kids or whatever. Okay, so Kelly, how many people wrote in and told us who or what they're grateful for? We had 100 million trillion responses. Yes, I love John numbers. Actually, we had six. We had six responders um, and four of them were pets. They were the children of you dog parents out there. It's not a thing. But hey, so um, we split these up. So y'all pick some of your favorite ones. And so let's go through the B-O-O-T-H and start over there with you, Jenna. Yes. So um, I've got three. I'm going to read here. Okay. Um, So first one comes from Traveling Cows with a K. um, And they said, our IVF clinic, they helped us make our beautiful twin girls. So that's the first one. Um, The second one is the Adam Toy said, my wife for dealing with all my anxiety and health issues recently. And then the third one is from Ape Baldwin. I am thankful for my two brothers who have walked through the darkest nights with me. Aw. Hey, how cool is that? that, 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 Who is in the middle? The Adam toy. The Adam toy. My wife exacerbates my anxiety and pours gasoline on it. And his helps. That's so nice. That's so great. Okay, who's next? Ben? Uh, yeah, so I've got one here from... I got a few here. Uh, first one from Red C. Ardinals. Not Cardinals, C. Ardinals. Uh, says, my friend Jason, he helps me combat suicidal thoughts just by talking to me. Thanks. Way to go, Jason. Jenny Jen03 says, my fifth grade students this year, they're pushing me to apply so many different approaches to my teaching. <laughs> is, is, is that because they're so ridiculous and out of control that she's having to come up with new things? I love it. It's Good job, be. fifth grade it's students. Way to go. And then uh, last one I've got is, uh, really, really Riley says, couple that set aside comfort uh, slash privacy and let me stay with them for six months in college for free. Wow. So that's pretty baller. That's huge. Yes. Kelly? All right, so Miss Sarah Bell 2020. I didn't know you could feel thankful. Oh, this isn't yours. This is somebody else's. Okay, read theirs. Read theirs. Go ahead. I just hope that people know what I, what I deal with. This is, this is my job. Well, they know what I deal with, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sarah Bell 2020 said, my mother-in-law, she's a prayer warrior, and I can talk to her about things I'm not comfortable talking to my mom about. She has always treated me like her own daughter. How many did we get people who were grateful for their in-laws? Is that the one? The one. The one. The one. <laughs> the one. Way to go, America. Yeah. Um, at Anton.fam said, my father and husband, who have not had to do with social media, are both incredibly supportive, loving men. And then at Classical Voice Coaching said, my high school choir director, his belief in me taught me how to believe in myself through my opera career. You don't hear the words opera and career together very often. That's fantastic, man. Nay, dog, what do you think? Stuzi Reezy says, I'm thankful for my sister. She just got sober and we are spending more time together. Very cool. Uh, of a working mom says, my mom takes the kids overnight every Friday night so my husband and I can have a date night. Whoa. That sounds incredible, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Laura Beth says, my neurologist, he saved my life and gave me an internship as a jumpstart into my career. Oh, that's awesome. 
Uh, the ones I've got are from Corey Coaster Music. Said my college junior varsity soccer coach set me on the right path and has checked in with me for the last 10 years. You know what? I love that when a teacher or a coach just reaches out. I, I've got students that I used to coach and teach and I try to reach out every once in a while. I, I just love it, man. I love seeing how people are successful and they got families and they got careers and jobs. It's just like, my, it's my favorite thing in the world. I love it. Uh, Skelly9181 writes, my childhood best friend, no matter how far apart we've lived, she's always been a huge support system. And Mason dot Algier says, my dad, he's always lends an ear to hear wise counsel and is a rock to help keep me grounded. So rad. Hey, thanks to everybody for writing in. Um, we did, we have, a, we had an overwhelming response. It was awesome. This is important. Just take a minute. Uh, Jenna, let's go through the booth real fast. Um, curveball. What's somebody, somebody or something you're grateful for? And besides me, we all know that that's going to be right, everybody's number course, one. So yeah. besides mm -hmm. the besides opportunity that. to work okay. with this stable, yes. stable guy. Keep going. Yep. Um, so I would say I'm very thankful for my mom um, for, and I know she's listening because she listens to the show now, um, for never giving up on me through the hardest seasons of my life and seeing the potential in myself that I could never see for myself at that time. Hmm. That's awesome. Benjamin? Uh, I'm going to say, as cliche as it is, I'm very thankful for my wife. Uh, we just had a lot of ups and downs this year. Uh, we bought a house. Then we had an injury and, and a layoff, and I just got hit by a car. You know, uh, last you didn't get week. by a car. You got hit by a semi well, truck, but it's true, cool. true. I was trying <laughs> to cool. downplay it, but uh, <laughs> but she's always been there for me and is super supportive and couldn't have gotten through everything without her. That's awesome. Um, mine would be my sister. Uh, my mom is in the last days of her life um, mm -hmm. due to Alzheimer's and it's in Texas, so I'm not there. And my sister's having to deal with all that. And she's been going to the nursing home daily, making sure hospice is doing what they need to do and just really caring for her and taking the brunt of that. And mm -hmm. I know how hard that is. And I very much appreciate that she's able to do that and that she does it with love. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then for me, I would say uh, I'm thankful for my daughter. Uh, two years ago, she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and was told that uh, she would have a 75 per chance of it coming back. And so far, she has beaten the odds. That's amazing. Good deal, man. Um, and I would say, hmm, I just get kind of overwhelmed with gratitude because my life is um, just sitting on the gifts and talents and love and care and forgiveness of so many people. Um, I would probably say I'm deeply grateful for Todd, and Fatchon, for Michael, you know, Kevin, for Trevor and Craig, for um, JP, Nate, Justin, these men in my life who aren't afraid. They're some of the few who aren't afraid to say, hey, that's that's not cool. That's not who you are. They're not afraid to say, hey, um, that joke's not funny. They're not afraid to say, I know you love your wife, but you need to treat her better. Um, they're men that hold me accountable. They also remind me to laugh deeply. They think I vote terribly. They think that some of my politics are stupid and my mental health advice is dumb and they don't <laughs> hesitate to let me know. They also will call and say, hey, um, I don't listen to your show, but I heard one call. That's what they always say. They don't listen, but then they do. And that call was really, you did a good job. You really helped that person. And so they're not afraid to say great job too. And so, um, I'm not who I am without my friends, Putz and Caleb and Ryan and Buddy and Tucker, the whole gang, man. I'm just so grateful for my friends. Um, and then I guess at the end of the day, my best friend on the planet, my wife, Sheila, just just people I can laugh with and be with and hang out with. And um, I can only kiss one of those. That's not true. I can kiss all my friends. It's cool. All right. Um, so don't forget. Don't forget. Be grateful. Make it a part of your life. Make it a practice. Make it a regular thing you do. Think for things. Think of moments, experience, friendships. Remember back to those times. If we all turn the dial to being more grateful, the whole world changes, and it starts with each one of us. 